welcome mon ami um, I'm still feeling very dead it's a Saturday morning it's about 10 o'clock in the morning and guess what I had to do something really weird I had to put my headscarf on I was like what am I doing with my life I put my headscarf on because I had to make a video obviously because I was like oh my god it's Sunday tomorrow and I'm working tomorrow all day um, I chose to work tomorrow by the way because I do like this agency kind of thing it's like a caring at um, providing care for like people with sensory issues or like the deaf and blind or like if they have neurology issues kind of thing um, so they're mentally disabled um, so yeah I go in sometimes on the rare occasion if they pay me well and uh, you know if I've got nothing better to do so I'm just like I'll carry that on because I've been doing it for like four years I want to say um, I've always done that as a side thing from, since like college days because um, I like you know caring as you guys know if you've followed me for a while um, and yeah I just wanted to talk about patience um, in this video because I thought I'll choose a topic that I'm quite um, passionate about in these little rambly kind of videos don't know where it's going uh, don't know where I'm going with it but you know it's better than constantly rambling about I care which you know um, I just want to expand on that by the way um, I still love and appreciate my eyes to bits um, and I will always, always, always provide you guys with um, support, suggestion, advice if you do, you know, if you were to ever message me on Insta or anything like that, um, you know, I'm more than happy to provide that information um, and help you guys out and motivate you, of course. Um, it's just I don't want to constantly be making videos about eye care, so just based about I still love doing health, I love human biology, um, anatomy, physiology, all that kind of stuff, science nerdy kind of things, um, but yeah, so I'll still be doing, trying to provide beneficial insights into things, um, maybe even into life, just generally like today I just want to talk about patience, so let's just get into that. With patience, I just want to talk about how like, everyone's in a rush to make that 10k, uh, not 10k, uh, 30k salary or whatever it might be. Um, but the thing is, you've got to be patient. I mean, how are you, how on earth are you supposed to learn in life, live life without being patient? Like, if you were handed everything on a golden spoon, you'd probably turn out to be a spoiled little brat, to be quite frank. But like, you know, but when you have like, when you have to go through obstacles and when you have to like, um, go through like situations in life, um, you know, you become more grateful and a bit more humble. And you know what? Um, growing up, I always thought, why does this crap happen to me? Why do I have to go through this? You know, a so and so doesn't have to do all this, and they have everything in their hand. But you know what? You never know what's going on in other people's lives, and you should never assume or presume. And you know what? What's happening to you? It might be better for you. You know, God knows best. And um, so everybody's situation is different, and everybody will be going through different tr trials and tribulations because um, that's just your life. That's your destiny, your test, whatever you want to believe it, or like just your pathway. And um, so maybe you know you experiencing that uh, hardship and you going through the long way just to reach that end goal it was better for you than somebody else and it was meant for you than somebody else simply because it made you become a better person, a stronger person a more humble person, a more respectful, wiser, intelligent person because what it is, it's not age, age is just a number it's the experience that makes somebody intelligent um, or like um, have a lot more knowledge in certain things in life like certain people might have certain knowledge in certain things but you know, it's it's the experience that people go through that make them become intelligent and make them become knowledgeable and wiser. And there's a famous saying that says, you know, the older I get, the more that I see. So you become you become you become to see a lot uh, a lot of things a lot more clearer. Um, you start to understand. You gain an in depth understanding, shall I say, in depth insight into life, into things, and they always say, you know, don't let life beat you down, don't let it take away your um, smile, um, you know, you've just got to keep on going because that's life, you're going to go through so much ups and downs, you're going to go high and low, you're going to be happy one moment, uh, sad the next, that's why I don't believe in, oh yeah, happiness is my end goal, because happiness is just an emotion, it's an emotion, just like how if you're sad, it's that emotion, it's that time of your life so I could be really sad 10 minutes ago but right now I'm really happy and um, you know 
but it's not a destination where I want to live a happy life. Just remember that, you know, good things come to those who wait. And when I say patience, I don't mean just sit back and wait for God to give everything to you. You've got to obviously hustle. You've got to obviously work hard. You've obviously got to chase for what you want uh, in life. If you want a peaceful life, you think sitting there um, is going to get you that. You've got to actually get your ass out of bed and, like, be productive and do things. I mean... How on earth are you supposed to achieve something if you don't actually move? You'd never learn to walk if you never even took that first step. So, like, you need to actually move, get up and move and stop thinking about, pro stop procrastinating. Procrastination only continues when you allow it to continue. You've got to actually keep going. So when I say patience, I don't mean just sit there and just do nothing and expect everything to happen to you, but... When I say patience is after you're grinding for a long period of time, you start to feel like you want to give up or like you just start slowing down. But just be patient and, you know, you'll get there in the end. And hopefully you remember the importance and the virtue of patience and can teach people how important it is to be patient and not to just rush things in life. It's, you know, life's an... Um, roller coaster they say and it really is it just really is so but yeah i'm gonna end it for now i'm gonna have my breakfast well i don't think i'll have my breakfast just yet because it's still too early i'm trying to because ramadan is like next month um if you couldn't tell already i'm muslim so obviously i'm going to be fasting for like a whole month whoopdee um and yeah so that was complete sarcasm by the way i don't like I like fasting because it makes you become humble and grateful for the food and the you know blessings that God has provided. Um, and <clears throat> so like I do I do love that. I love the atmosphere and like how everybody's like giving each other food and like just the kindness and the atmosphere. I just love all of that. Um, um, so yeah, so I'm trying to uh, practice like eating less now so that when Ramadan Ramadan does come next month, April something, I'll be prepared for that, shall we say, for the marathon. Um, and yeah, so I hope you all have a good day. Stay safe and peace. <laughs>